The Eagle has landed. In 1969, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin planted flags on the moon, taking one small step for man and one giant leap for mankind. And now, decades later, we're taking another leap of faith, making our way back. This is why, you know, I wanted to be a part of this event is because we're going to change the world. Monday morning, the most powerful rocket to ever fly will lift off from Kennedy Space Center. Andrew Shore, the manager of the spacecraft payloads integration, says members of the Artemis team were great students, learning all they could from the Apollo missions. We build off of Apollo, what we learned in Apollo. In fact, some of the hardware that was used to build the Saturn launch vehicle, we build the launch vehicle stage adapter and the Orion stage adapter at Marshall Space Flight Center. Some of the equipment we used was used to build the Saturn launch vehicle for the Saturn Apollo mission. So we have that connection from the last exploration class vehicle that NASA fielded to the one we're fielding today. The Saturn V rocket was used for the entire Apollo program, the last mission in 1972. Shore says in many ways the SLS rocket is a contemporary update of the Saturn V using newer technologies. The overall vehicle in general the horsepower equates to about 160,000 Corvettes, right? So it's a lot of power, much more than the uh, Saturn. While it's not as tall as the last moon rocket, the SLS is about 15% more powerful. One of the biggest questions are why it took us so long to get back. NASA spokesperson Daryl Nail says the answer has to do with changing presidential administrations and national priorities. Now, uh, over the past 10 years, the dedication to go back and further explore in deep space is renewed. They are our way to get into deep space and explore not just the moon, but also eventually Mars. NASA says the goal is to maximize how much we can really learn on this trip, a mission with a roughly $4 billion price tag. We're live at Kennedy Space Center, Alina Shirazi, Fox 35 News.